Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Plan Zoom. My name is Nessa and today we are looking at the African Civater, which is a new mod for Plan Zoom by Narwhaler and it is a extinct new species um, for the game. I will say most of the mods, th all of the mods that are new species for the game is called new species. I really appreciate he said it's extinct, not all mods uh, do that. Uh, I will just notice that when I google pictures, because it is extinct, it's very difficult. And some of it seems to be guesswork. Again, we have this one that is a very fat little fella, and then we have animals like these, sorry, you can't see him. I can just do like this. Um, something like that. Um, it's much more thin. We have a ske partial skeleton. We have a drawing. Again, a something that looks more like some kind of pig-like creature. Um, so I think the mother here had some kind of uh, freedom to work with this. Here you can see it's also pictured by with the stripes here um, and here with the spots. So again, a lot of possibilities. But this is what they did or he did. Um, again, he didn't make it too fat, but it is rounder have a rounder belly. These are much, uh, m much different uh, than any other animal like this we have in the game. Again, it reminds you a little bit of the, um, what's it called? <sighs> Sorry, I just blanked on that. Um, but we have a few animals today that it does resemble. Again, the horns could be from some kind of ox. The leg seems some kinds of antelope or bovine at least, uh, but a mixture of so many different bovines. When you go into Wikipedia again, it will not be a extinct animals for the game to read. It will live and breed and all of the things that other animals do in your zoo. Uh, it is extinct in the wild and it have been so for around seven hundred thousand years. So again. It's not one of those you should um okay um <laughs> so you shouldn't expect to to um that the game does something specific because they are extinct. The game thinks it's a normal animal anyway again, they are from Africa uh fossils. So fossils found in Djibouti, Ethiopia, Morocco, Kenya, South Africa, Tanzania, and Uganda. One of them, oh, sorry, they live in grassland and or they, they lived where there's now grassland and tropical biome. Uh, and one of them need uh, 1,081 square meters of land. Uh, a to 42 degrees Celsius, and you need a grade three fence above 1.3 meters. Only one male and one female. I, my guess would be that this is still guesswork, um, but I'm not sure what they have to base it on, but this is what the game are gonna assume. Uh, so yeah, males always alone, but females can live in groups of two. One dominant male pair group, females frank by age. Unknown, gregarious, or mature offspring are tolerated in the group, but only two in the group. Shy and guests can enter the habitat. They grow to 2.2 meters tall. That's over 10 feet. Um, and the. Uh, one, uh, sorry, sorry, um, one, uh, 2.1 meter, that is one feed, I think. Um, 
live for around 20 years and males weigh around 950 and females around 800 uh, kilos being around 2,000 pounds for the fee for the male and uh, 1,900 I think for the female. Uh, reach sexual maturity unknown, age of sterility unknown, only uh, one offspring every second year and they are pregnant for 16 months, that's a long time, should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity. They have enrichment in here. We have the sprinkler, plants green, rubber pillar, and both scratching trees. And only the barrel, uh, hanging barrel feeder for food enrichment do not have any interspecies enrichment, which again makes sense since a lot of the animals we have today probably weren't, uh, uh, didn't exist back then, especially um, in its current form again animals change a lot over 700,000 years so here they are i'm not sure if there's a difference i feel like this one have a wider wider horns is that the male yeah, it's the male. So I think there's a little bit of different, but not a lot. It is a little shiny, but it probably just were at, uh, by the sprinkler. So that probably have something to do with it. The eyes are really, really dark brown. A cold tone brown. They look really good. Um, it does seem a little plasticky some places. And the fur also looks very, very thin thin like extremely thin um but that again things that we really can't say i assume what i can say is that the hair strands should cover here there should not be a line they should hang down over that uh, the tassels and the tails look good on both of them um I really dig the patterns. Again, the mother had a lot of free creativity about this, but I really, really like this pattern. Um, so yeah, overall it does look really, really good. So we have a baby. Oh, we have a spring lamoid there. That's probably why both of them seems a little shiny. This is the baby. Oh, I would just mention the horns. I saw pictures where this horn were like this long. Uh, uh, sorry, this was actual horn and not just these small stumps. Uh, but I also saw pictures where it was just these stumps. The baby don't have the horns yet, but it does have the stumps. It looks very, very cute. It has a funny angle here, where, which I normally would think of as cartoonish as well as the cheekbones. And the nose have this indent in the middle. Again, things I normally would think of like cartoonish. But because of the surroundings of this animal being extinct, and I have no way to know if it actually looks like this, I'm gonna leave it with that. I actually think the fur on the baby here looks better than on the other adult still stupid line this tail is actually quite unique in the way that it's shortened just here uh, and the tassels start right uh, kind of um, late uh, compared to the adults but it's kind of really really cute I wish I could just turn off the sprinklers and make them dry real fast. Um, because I would like to know if it's because it was wet that the fur looks so extremely thin. Uh, we have the glitching going on. Keep in mind that maybe my computer set may not have none yours. Uh, but overall, I will say if you go for a, a prehistoric zoo or... Whatever story you want to build around it, if you want animals like these, they are quite beautiful and you will 
definitely be able to build some kinds of habitats that uh, with some kinds of animals that most people probably won't. And uh, if you want that, they are definitely there. I really like the shape of the horns. It looks like there's fur on the horns, though. That's interesting. Uh, again, something that I really can't check <laughs> at all. But uh, yeah. I like because I like to tell animal stories when I mix my builds. So I won't build for these, most likely. But they are beautiful and I do understand if you guys want to build for them. So yeah. Anyway, link for it down below and link to my Instagram that I don't really use. But my Patreon, actually, I do use. Uh, so if you want to support me over there, it would really be great. It's a single dollar a month. Uh, and if there's something people want to pay more, I will add more expensive uh, ways to get over there. But uh, it's not my current plan. It's more to just make it more organized. For instance, I add tags on every single one of my mud videos. So you can search by lesson uh, genus. You can search by bovine. You can search on small. You can search on more things to help you find the mud you need. Uh, which helps me out a lot. I use it a lot, actually. <laughs> um, so I'm still working on getting all my mud, mud videos over there. But all of the newer ones, I think, since November is currently over there. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we're going to end it here. And you know, drill, guys. Like, subscribe and turn on the bell and notification. So you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. Either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.